edition of what a horse and jerry has taken that trip yeah have a good weekend have a good weekend had a good weekend get wet enough, weekend get enough to eat yeah mm -hmm. ready to work yeah ready okay to work. Do, do your part then we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got some announcements to make. Alabama Ladies Auxiliary is Friday night, July the 28th, Bellington, Alabama. Contact Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. Start time is 6 p.m. in Ryan Gannon. We'll be marking the cards. Putnam County Show is 20, the 9th, 29th. Saturday night in Cookville, Tennessee. Contact Gary Bowman, 931-252-0584. Start time is 5 p.m. and the judge is Matt Porter. Then Saturday night, right back in Bailington, you got the Roger Latham Memorial Racking Horse Show, Bailington, Alabama. Contact David Latham on this one, 256-572. 18.20, start time is 6 p.m., and John Cordell will mark the cards. And then we've got one that I am really looking forward to. That's Sunday afternoon. 
behind the old high school starting at one o'clock, the Tweeba Summer Sizzler. It, that is going to be something else. Yes. 931-359-1574 to get any information and to enter your horse. Mike Carpenter and Noel Meadows will mark the cards. Question, yes. when's the last time the celebration was held behind the old high school? I know it was back in the early 40s. Well, Sonny McCarter didn't get it right. He said 44, it's 47. 47, okay. And he's been to every one of them. So oh, man. That, that shows his memory. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, when was the first celebration? I don't know. I know it was 30. <laughs> 1939. 1939. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just pulling you late. Yeah. We, uh, we got these shows coming up, but I'm going to make a statement here. We've got the ability to video inspections. So I'm going to suggest to everybody, the government has come up with another way of hindering our shows. I think they've got seven at one show and 14 at another for foreign substance by taking, and we're told it's an alcohol rub and wiping the feet, which means that we can no longer take a white-footed horse and, and uh, put a color in or anything on his feet to where it matches and makes him look level. But the, the government is, I mean, they said they was every place this weekend, I think, what, 12 people there are swabbing and doing, it just, it's ridiculous is what it is and it's just another way to hinder us showing. But a lot of the foreign substance is not even harmful to a horse. It's actually helpful. When I was a kid, I drank sulfur tea. Yes. And I know of two barns now that have to bathe their horses in sulfur water. However, sulfur is on the foreign substance list. I don't know what they think, what kind of harm it's going to do. but. To me, they're getting ridiculous. But what I'm saying, folks, is this. You've got the right to video. So my suggestion is everybody. They video the government from the time they take the swab out till the time they swab your horse's feet. And then you video what they're doing with it afterwards. As for me, I've already told my trainer that I want to have my horse swab by veterinarian and check before he ever goes to the show. I want to document everything. I know that we've decided that we're not going to ride with any action device. We're not going to do probably bungee cords or will be it. But I don't want to take any chances of them coming up and saying, well, you've got a scar, you've got this, you've got that. I just want to document everything because just to be honest, it's getting to where, to me, now this is me, unethical as hell. It's hard. I just, I, it is. It's very hard for us trainers and owners to own these horses or whatever. You know, you don't know what to do from one time to the next. You know, you use stuff to help that you think to help prevent to get scars or help doctor scars or cuts or any kind of thing, but. It ends up as a foreign substance that if you get checked, if you get swabbed, it is not on their list of what they have. Well, it, it just, if, if it made sense, it would be different. But for years, they called scars out that weren't scars. When you run biopsies, nobody can find a scar. They invented scars. They got to the point to where they could not agree on a scar, so they quit the second opinion. Everything that they run into that puts a hindrance on them and doesn't apply pressure on us, they change. And now they've come up with this swabbing and, and if anything comes off, so which means if you've got a white-footed horse and everybody knows it's going to make that horse look off when you're in the ring. So you, you take steps to, to take care of that. 
you clean their hooves and you paint them. However, if they're running that swab and they happen to hit the edge of your hoof and it's got something on it, you're out for foreign substance. It just, it, it just, it, the HPA was made to supposedly help the walking horse industry. But everything that they've done results back into them coming up with all this different things that cause a hindrance. If it ain't a scar rule that's not there, then it's a rotated coffin bone that Riddle can't find. It's always something. They bring different things in for us to have to jump to a hurdle. I think the best thing to do would be to just go ahead and sue the USDA, go to court, come up with an HPA that is honest and ethical and helpful to everybody. Well, any breed of horse, if they get uh, a sweat crack or anything on their foot, you go to your veterinarian, they're going to give you some stuff, some kind of salve to put on it to heal it Let's or whatever. It. I mean, so it is ain't the walking horses that use stuff to, to heal cracks or whatever. I mean, you got the quarter horses, you got any kind of horse that use their fetlock real much that's going to come up with a crack and they give them stuff to help heal it. But it seems like the walking horse is the only ones that they're going to get punished for using something to try to heal a horse it is. With. With, with. Anything you can have, other breeds can use things that they buy off the shelf. shelf. That's right. The walking horse can't. So my question is this. When, when are y'all going to start attacking other breeds the way you attack the walking horse? They use that tomography. They knew the w proper way to use the tomography, but they didn't use it. Like, And then they bring people in like him. Scared to death of a horse, but they don't want to. And that horse didn't get to show yeah because he was afraid of him and the horse knew it, the horse was afraid of him. Yeah. But that horse was ruled unruly. You know, it ain't so much of going on against other breeds of horses, it just being knowledgeable about different things that if you do do a swab and you find some kind of healing technique that you find that to, to help heal that horse or helps support that horse, you know. It, it, they don't care. I mean, that's it. I mean, you just got to be smart about it. Yeah. Let's go to Cornersville, Tennessee for some victory passes. Like Cornersville had a good horse. show. Please it was a small horse. show. Horse, Bobby Dan McDaniels, I'm bless his heart, he was a, he's a, he's a super good guy. He did that show for over 40 years. Out right there is I am, a three-timer in Josh Watts, Lee and Carol Baxter. That's a nice horse. Carol shows that horse, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does a good job. I am a three-timer. I think that second time, if, if it was uh, a man, that second time he'd probably skill it over his head or something. <laughs> Me and Carol this past weekend had a long talk. Me and her and her husband. Oh, she's, a, she's a nice lady. Yeah. Youth Lebanon under Graydon Beach and Allie Joe Jacobs. For nice Jake horse. and Allie Joe, that is one nice mare. Yes. And to be honest, Jake, I think Allie Joe does a better job of showing that mare. <laughs> she is something else. That young lady works hard on what she, she does. does. She does. She works real hard. She's all about them horses now. Tell me about it. She is a joy to watch, but we have a lot of youngsters that are just, I mean, I love to watch them. Yeah. Because they, they, they have a good time. They're slim and hot and Robert Dortch, or Robert, amateur three-year-old stallion winner, slim and hot. That's a good class. Robert gets it done. He had a good weekend this past weekend. Oh, yeah. Robert loves them horses now. He loves the show and a big, big supporter. Time. Yep. A Super Bowl MVP. Right here's a Super Bowl MVP in BB Beasley. Got me one of them Super Bowl caps. I watch those two girls, and we've watched them since the lead line. Oh, yes.
They are big supporters of each other now. Right here is Zorro Jr. and Maxine Beasley. I really got a kick out of watching this now. I really did. You know, them, them two girls right there are making memories right now. Oh, Lord. You know, they'll remember back when they did this and when they did that. That's right. They'll be able to take a, tell their grandkids about it. Yes. There's a nice horse, and she does a good job. Of she does a real good too. job. Dixie Road. And right here is Dixie Joe Road. Barnes. And Link Webb for Joe Barnes. Now, right here is a walking yes. piece of work. And now that he's got that canter down, he's a, hey. Nice horse right there. Oh, yeah. Link does a good job with that horse. I like the way he goes yeah. from that slow walk into that running walk. And this weekend in Pulaski, Joe, Joe said, I'm t we're taking in Pulaski and said, tell everybody he's going to be there. Mm -hmm. And he was there. Yeah. So I told, I told uh, Link about it, and he said, well, he said he's going. So they win. All right, we're going to go to Parker's Crossroads. That was another good show. Yeah, that, that was, was a good show. Oh, yeah. We uh, thank Bob Roach for this video. Team Six Boots, Team Amy Six Boots and Amy Rich for owner Mike Floyd. I got to find out where she came up with that name. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's a good name. Yeah, it's a good name. But I'd like to know how she came up. Most people, they have a, some way that they, reason that they named the horse certain thing. But Team Six Boots, she didn't name him after nothing or anything. Just pulled that right out yep. of there. Gin, right there's Boone's Gin, Jimmy McConnell. Mike Floyd, Columbia, Tennessee is your owner. Number 425. Mike's got a good line. Oh, yeah, we got a good line of horses. There's the legend, Jimmy McConnell. Yep. When you grow up, you might be just like Jimmy. <laughs> That's what you need to do. You need to call Jimmy and say, Jimmy, I'm going to be just, just like, like you. you. That's right. Just like you, buddy. I've been watching Mary since I was a kid riding <laughs> horses coming that up. That means he's an old man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's your time to do your do. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know. I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a campus full of possibilities. 
In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. The only thing we can do is, is stand up t t for what we know is right. Yes, you're right. We're going to go to Heart of Champions. Marcy put on a good show for them girls. Yes, she did. Now, they, they really did. Really did. You show pleasure. This was that, a real good class. That was a good class. There was some good horses yeah, in there. Yeah, it was a good class. Tijano and my buddy Daniel Smith took the blue in that class. Well-armed American and Reese Abernathy was reserved. Swish the net, John Winston Clark. Watch the line, Jacqueline Garner. And my name, Jose, Georgia Hazelwood, finished out the ribbon. But it was DeJano and Daniel Smith for Larry and yeah. Elsie West right there. I like the way that kid sets a saddle now. I really do. He, he is a, a lot of kids try to copy different trainers, but yeah. now he has copied the legend, Billy Gray. He sets that, that out real well. It's a nice horse, yeah. too. But they had a real good show over there. I thought so. I really did. They, uh, yeah. People did their job. Of course, we didn't have the USDA there, so we didn't have a lot of the headaches that they had. And but uh, we was fighting the weather. Yeah. Oh, it was muddy going in, muddy coming, coming out, out, rainy walking up. There he is, show pleasure youth winner, Dijano, and Daniel Smith for Larry and Elsie West. They got her done. Horse. It is. Tell you what, that right there might be the one to wear the roses. Sure might. Yep. Because he's, he's good enough. He is flat good enough. Get her done, Daniel. No, oh, Elsie. Larry, you're awful proud. Amateur 15, 2 and under. One of my favorites, oh, yeah. Dark Rain and Taylor Walters to the blue. Tennessee lineman and Debbie Marbury was, Marbury was reserved. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine, in command on parole, Cheryl Crawford finished out the ribbons. But Dark Rain, oh, I'll yeah, tell you what, when he's, in, when he's in that gear, it's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. Look at there. He's doing nothing but getting it done, buddy. Taylor does a super she good job. She does a good job. Him. That's a nice horse now. I like that horse ever since the first time I saw him. It was another good class, isn't it? Yeah, it was. There's some tough horses in there. You got horses. My command on parole finishing yeah. fourth. 
then you know that you're in a tough class. Yep. Link did a good job of judging. Oh, yeah. yeah he did. Peggy likes to show that. Oh, yeah, she does. She likes to show. She enjoys it, you can tell. There she is, amateur 15, two and under winner, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters' family. Good horse. Yes. Like I say, when he's in that gear, he, he's hard to beat. Look at there. Get her done, Taylor. Good job. Now this is your amateur three-year-old. This was a good class. Yeah. Jive SS and Sam Sara took the blue. Peace in the Valley, Gabriel Humston, Reserve, Miss Annie Rose, Danny Hicks, Southern Soul, Gail Walling, and Dixie Daredevil finished out the ribbons with Janie Chapman. But my buddy Sam Sara, now he 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 got that blue. Yeah. He is. A, That's a nice horse. I've been watching his horse yeah. on Facebook. <coughs> yep. And I mean, I'm telling you, he's a. I'll tell you what, a good horse. Sam's a good jockey. Oh yeah. I tell you, he's an excellent he's judge. Good. He's a good judge. Yeah, he's a super good judge. He's a good judge. Watched him and Judge Wartrace once, and there was a spotted horse out there that was really, I mean, just flat walking. I said, well, we're gonna find out if Sam is, what he's tying right now because he's either gonna tie a walking horse that's walking, or he's gonna tie something else. But he reached down and tied that spotted horse, mm -hmm. and should've, because that spotted horse was putting on show. He I'm, gonna use the tie where he likes. I mean, I like, that's the I thing. Liked him, his judging ever since then. There he is, Jive SS and Sam Sara, your amateur three-year-old. Good job there. That's a nice horse. For a real nice horse. Tell you what, there's some good horses in that class. Oh yeah. Get her done, Sam. I like the fact that he's off the rail. Oh yeah. You can watch him. Right there's honor and remember that was your stake horse winner. Kim Lewis, honor and remember, and Dan Waddell. Tell you what, even by himself, he put on a heck of a show. Yeah. A heck of a show. That's one thing about Dan, man. He shows his old horse. That's right. He does. Goes to the show and he brings a good stock. Sure does. All righty. What are we gonna do now? Oh, we got a little video in the show pleasure class. This was the youngest horse in there. Mm-hmm. Everything else was five and up. 
but this particular horse, sir, three year old, and I was right tickled with him, to tell you the truth. He walks off that butt now. No, I'm telling you, that's one thing God gave him. But the good thing about it now, he's, I won't say an injury, yeah. but he's recuperating from tearing a foot off. Oh, yeah. So uh, he's got to get back to where he was. was but that's he, right. There ain't nothing wrong with what I'm seeing there. That is Sir. I'm glad you videoed that. I got to see him. I didn't get to see him. Hey, it's hard to see one when you ride riding. I thought, I thought he made a great Yeah, show. he did. I did. I was tickled with him, mm -hmm. especially when I found out that he was the youngest yeah, one in there. That. That and that's it. the only second time he ever been shown in his life. That's right. It's mm -hmm. only the second time. All right, now we're going to go to Marshall County, Tennessee, Lewisburg. They had a, they had a nice show over there, oh, too. Oh, yeah. They had to fight the weather, too, though. Or I'm telling you, that rain was playing havoc on everybody. And that's, that's another thing, this substance stuff, I'm wondering how much of it was splashed on somewhere else. There's your youth 11 yeah. underclass. That's my buddy there. Eli Cunningham took the blue by, with the medalist, and I'm on good behavior in Mary Beach, Ellis. I can't pronounce that name to save my soul. That was a, a wet show. Tell me about it. But that, when you're out places like that, and they sell all kinds of equipment yeah. at some of these shows. So when you're going up through there, especially when it's raining and everything, you don't know what's popping on a horse's foot. Right. And they're going to swab and tell you that you intentionally did something. There he is, the medalist. And Eli Cunningham. Get him, Eli. Yes, sir. He's doing it. What that little man can ride. Oh, yeah. Amateur 50 and over. That's a good class here. Yeah. But old Bob always, always does a good job. A King Thane and Bob Adcock right there, he is, took the blue in this class. Cash Bond and, and Fresh. Cash bond and fresh. Carol Counts was reserved in Bentinho and Debbie Williams finished out the ribbons. Bob's another one likes to show and have a bunch of good horses now. Oh, Lord, yeah. He has a bunch of good ones. He's got some good ones now. Real good. There he is, a King Thane and Bob Adcock. We're supposed to have lunch one day this week. He's killing time. He says he's going to go back home for a reunion, but he's going to stay down here for a while, so we're going to get together one day and have lunch. Yeah. That's a nice horse. Uh, Got a bunch of good ones. Yes. Got some good ones. All right, here's your amateur five year old. All Megan did was reload. Yeah. Black Gen Scout and Megan Hammond takes the blue for Shamrock Farm. The Blackstone, Kelly Manis was reserved. And Jurious, Jeff Smith finished out the ribbons. Megan getting ready for celebration time. Dude, that was another good class. 
Oh, Lord, yeah. Tell you what, we have some good horses now. Yeah. This year, I never can't remember a year when we had as many top horses as we currently have. There was your winner, Black Gin Scout and Megan Hammond. Megan, Megan just a good rider. Oh yeah, buddy. she's a good rider. She can ride. A well, real good rider. Well, we've got some video of the USDA out there. I think we've already showed it once, but in Pulaski, they uh, they really got right in Pulaski as far as as getting the swabbing. That was the main thing. Is the swabbing? And I just uh, I don't know. I've, I've got I've got a problem with that, a, a major problem. Yeah, I, I, I do just too. Don't, I think it's uh, if it was just harmful chemicals that they was wanting to find, but it's not. If the if from what they're saying, if the thing turns dark, the horse is out. Well, everything on that horse can't be considered a foreign substance. But they're saying that anything that, that it picks up that uh gonna be out and like I say in, in a lot of these places they sell tractors and all this. That, yeah. There's no telling what's in the in the on the ground. Oh yeah, that's right. That, then water I don't I just it, it just another one of these things like using a thermography outside when it's nineteen degrees. Yeah. We might as well go to commercial. I'm getting upset. We'll be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. You don't have to do it alone, that's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring braiding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal, Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 
for breathing information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general. But is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms. And go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, now we are going to the red carpet and check out some victory passes from up there. They had a, they had a good show. Yes, a real good they had show. A good show. Wasn't nothing wrong with that up there. Old Dan Waddell kicked us off. Yeah, because he uh, he did a. He, he takes horses to every show, though. He don't, you don't count Dan out. He will get in there with it. So let's go to Pulaski. Our judge for this eight. Lane did a good job at this show. Yeah, I, I thought he did, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here's your two-year-old Marin Gildan. A red alert, and Dan Waddell took the blue right there for George and Kim Lewis. And call me Seminite and Tanner Burks for Kelly Kelly and Richardson was reserved in that class. But that red alert, I've watched him at different shows and and uh, when he comes in there right, yeah, he, he's he's tough now. He's tough. He was looking good then. I like that color too. Oh yeah, I do too. I gotta see which one was right. Strawberry Roan. Now take them all down the road of let them all come, please. A red alert. Right there he is. Two year old Marion Gildon winner. A red alert and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Dan Waddell. Getting her done, ain't it? Yeah, real nice. Right here's your youth ponies. Time to tease took the blue. But I'm gonna tell you one that keeps getting better and better. They better watch your celebration time. And that's Switchblade. Yep. Now, I, I watched her quite a bit, and I'm here to tell you now, she was riding her horse. She was reserved. The country lineman and B.B. Beasley, also right there. Good show with Beth Beasley, Par Beth Beasley. The Huntress, Storm Sin for LaRue, and Ann McWaters, and our girl Charlie, Caitlin Peeler. Our Caitlin. These kids, I'm gonna tell you now, they're hard to beat. I, th I thought that, uh, I thought Switchblade looked awful good, and I thought the country lineman looked real good. Yeah. Well, all of them look good. Well, and pretty good crowd, too. Yeah, good crowd. All right, young riders. Going to line up on the east rail this time. East, east side. She's doing her best to ride that one, ain't she? The other one. Oh, 
you what, they don't take a back seat to nobody, no. that's for sure. One thing I can say I my Ally Joe is she don't never give up, she keep trying. Switch oh away. Lord, yeah. That's the thing. She's got a backbone now. Yeah. There's your reserve winner, Switchblade and Alley Joe Jacobs for Jacobs and Mac Waters. And I'll tell you something else about it. Every time you've seen her this year on this horse, she's been better and better. Yeah. Right here, trainers, wives, and children. Me and Pocahontas and Allison Balcom. That took the blue for Allison Armstrong. Top Chef Toddy, Jaden Jackson, SP and LLC, and the American mobster Linda Sribner finished out the ribbon. I tell you what, Allison, a fantastic owner, oh, yeah. and Allison Balcom can flat ride. Yeah. No doubt about it. He can get it done. Pocahontas is one of our best mares out there. There. Me and Pocahontas. I do like that mare. Oh yeah, she's a good mare. There's a bunch of good horses there at that show. I, I thought so. There she is, Allison Malcolm. For Allison Armstrong, trainers, wives, and children. Me and Pocahontas. You can get it done, that's for sure. Yep. Here's your three-year-old stallions. This, this was a tough class right here. Wichita and Tyler Balcom took the blue for Barnes, Connor, Connor, and Kilgore. Limestone, Dan Waddell was reserved for Kim Lewis. And the honorable one, Knox Blackburn, for Joe Link was third. A lot of people like this limestone now. Mm -hmm. He's a good one. Good ones right there, bud. Oh, yeah. All right. That's three good horses in that class. A bunch of good horses. Three good ones. Right there he is, Limestone, and Dan Waddell was reserved for George and Kim Lewis, your three year old stallion. That. All right, amateur five-year-olds, here we go. This is going to be a tough class <laughs> come celebration time. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of good ones. Honored in Texas won this one, Bob Adcock. Black Gin's Justification, Miles Irby, was reserved. Imagine I Am, Jamie Hajek. Dim the Lights, Sadie Parsons. And I Am Rip, Joseph Goldman finished out the ribbon. But now I'm gonna tell you, 
celebration. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be a dog fight out oh, yeah. there. I can promise you that. Because that dim you lights is a better horse than folks. Mm hmm And I know Sadie is a better rider than Polk. So that's going to be a good one. We're going to be doing an ad for that one. Yeah. Texas and Bob Adcock, your amateur five-year-old winner. Tell you what, Bob's got some good horses. Oh, he got some now. real good horses. Real good horses. And right there is one of them. Yep. I like that name too. Honored in Texas. Amateur stallions. I tell you what, this this was a good class. Twisted with honors, Allison Armstrong took the blue. My shockwave, Dr. Linda Brogdon, reserve. The Iron Door, Sarah Coffee Birch, Legal Tender, Sherry Bonner, and Envious, Kim Leonard finished out the ribbons. I think we're going to have a guest appearance. Oh, okay. You reckon? Tell you what, this was a pretty, pretty tough class right here. It is. I tell you what, though, that twisted with honors. That's a good horse. Real good horse. Real good horse. We've got a wild man joined us here. They give you a microphone, too? Did you do a mic test? That's a good class right here. I didn't hear you do no mic test. Um. You better be talking about these horses. I will. You will? Look, I ain't hearing you. He's pretty good. There's a bunch of good ones out there. A bunch of good horses out there. It's a tough class. That's why you're not in it. You reckon? All right, get ready. I've got my buddy Colt in here now. He's normally just a spectator, but today we, since he did a commercial for us, we let him be on the show. All right, let me hear it. Twisted with honors. Twisted with honors. Took the blue. Took the blue. You're doing good. That's a nice horse. Tell me about it. Real nice. She really likes that horse. I'm going to tell you she does. I bet she does. She sits a horse real well. She does now. She, yeah. she sits the saddle. Yeah, she sits. Yeah. Having yeah, them go heads up. Uh-huh. You tell Lane wanted to make sure he tied the right one. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, sometimes you have to have that show to make it a class like this. Right, and there she is, twisted yeah. with honors, and Allison Armstrong. That's a good horse, Coach. Yeah. Real good. Would you like to ride him? Not nah, too much horse for you. All right, do the announcement. Twisted with Armstrong, Allison Armstrong. 
Wished it with honors. Allison Armstrong. You did good. Jerry, a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Allison did make a she good made, show. She, now. Good she, show. She, she rode that horse, and especially in the workout. Yes. Now, that, mm -hmm. a lot of times people in that workout, they'll, you know, they, they'll try to push too much. I'm glad they done that she in did. that class right there. You know, some of the classes need to have more. That's like right. That. Yeah. What, what do you think about it? Do you think we ought to have a workout or not? Yeah, we should yeah. have a workout. Every, every, every class, right? Yeah. Eh, they can't do that. take all night. How about we do it at the bar? Oh, at the bar? Have a workout at the bar? Yeah. <laughs> he needs clean stalls tomorrow. Yeah. This boy's got too much he energy. Got too much energy, yeah. Uh, what all did you do today? Help him get the wraps off the horses and stuff. So. And take care of the horses? Brush Give them any off. of them a bath? Yeah, gave them a bath, brush them off. Did you lunge any? Didn't lunge one. He uh he carted them. How many how many stalls did you muck out today? Zero. Oh, come <laughs> on now. Hey, you can't get him to muck a stall. No. Mm -hmm. How many he, did you want? He just like to ride. Oh, that's what he that's wants it. to do. I love to ride. You love to ride, but you ain't mucking out no stall. Mm -mm. We're gonna take you off the payroll. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> I tell you what, tomorrow when I come by, muck out one stall. I just want to see if you can do it. All right. You think you can? Mm hmm I'll do toppies. Do you feed them horses any goodies? Yeah, sometimes. You've been, you, you've been feeding my goodies to them horses? I knew somebody was <laughs> into my goodies. I told, I told you, I said, someone getting my biscuits in there. And that was you. Yeah. Now, whose horses are you giving the biscuits to? One of your horses? Mine? Well, you're a good boy. That's good good answer. answer. Good answer. <laughs> he know how to do it. He good <laughs> They're his biscuits. Give them the other horses. That's right. You, you haven't given a biscuit to none of the others? Maybe sometimes. Maybe, maybe some. That's yeah. what I figured. He, he's, got, he's got his favorites in there yeah. that he mm -hmm. gets to ride. I grant you, they're getting, they're getting them apple treats. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going we're to let y'all go this week. I'm going to take off with Colt. But we'll be back next week. Y'all yeah, have a good week. <laughs> You're going to be back. Tell everybody bye. Bye. See y'all next week. <laughs> have a good one. I'll, well, I'll see them Sunday. We got yeah. a good show Sunday. Mm -hmm. Everybody be there. That's yeah, going to be good. Right. The Sizzler, I can't wait. Good show. We'll, we'll be there having a good time. I'm going to get led around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a good job. All right. See y'all next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.